Good. You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting so for you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. Dragonborn. What do you know about the Dragonborn? So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thume or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards. You've done a great Some service for me and my city, come. Dragonborn. This hasn't happened By my right as Jarl, Beast. I name Not you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest the honor that's within my, my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as she may be, I don't see any signs of her being this, what, Dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rangar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with her? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. That Stormcloak's armor is Jarl has my appointed nose. me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Lead the way. If we kill the dragon... Thinking of settling in? There's a house for sale. Freeze home. We should talk to the steward up in the keep. Lady, could you spare a coin? Old friend. Patron of the great clan Battlepoint. You couldn't possibly be the Dragonborn of Legend, could you? What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you.
Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, welcome to hmm. blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Good doing business with you. Dragons?
should have come here. than you. Steps again, Clement? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Rock Yard. The path isn't safe. <laughs> Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of Bethulm, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful but I wouldn't want to provoke them. Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Be careful up there.
I... I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. All right, then. Dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Shout at us and let us taste of your voice. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the Voice of the Sky, strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. We are here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. 
That is all I can say. We are honored to welcome a Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. We are honored to welcome a Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Body will teach you wood, which means whirlwind. You must hear the word within yourself 
before you can project it into a film. Approach Master Bordy and we will gift you his knowledge of wool. through before it closes. Your quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? No, indeed not. But beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengraf. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. No doubt, the appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. Dragons have the inborn ability to learn and project their voice. Dragons also are able to absorb the power of their slain brethren. A few mortals are born with similar abilities, whether a gift or a curse has been a matter of debate down through the centuries. What you have already learned in a few days took even the most gifted of us years to achieve. Some believe that dragonborn are sent into the world by the gods at times of great need. We will speak more of that later, when you are ready. Sky above.
Hello there, fellow traveler. One itinerant, the life of adventure and song is the life for us, eh, friend? The best tales are those of adventure. Who could truly write such a tale without first experiencing such? Ah, well, after a little incident with a roguish lad and uh, the daughter of a prominent Dane, well, let's just say best not. Afraid not. But if you're serious about sharpening that tongue, you might try the Bard's College in solitude. All right, then.
The Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Rothgar. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. Feindal thinks he can woo Camilla you there. Valerius away from You're me. the one they call He's Dragonborn. Your lies fall on deaf ears, Deceiver. We know you are the false Dragonborn. You shall not stand in the way of the true Dragonborn's return. He comes soon, and we shall offer him your heart. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. Time to... Come on. The Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Rothgar. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. You there! You're the one they call Dragonborn! Then it is too late. The lie has already taken root in the hearts of men. So we shall expose to them the falseness in their hearts by tearing out yours, deceiver! When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him! I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. Attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room, but you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. We don't get a lot of travelers here in Riverwood. Give me a mug of ale. Coming right up. So you're the Dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. I think you're looking for this. We need to talk. Follow me. Close the door. Now we can talk.
The Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they're right. Surprise. You just find that line. I guess around. I'm getting pretty good Must at my harmless innkeeper act. You can't be too careful. Thalmor's spies are everywhere. I didn't go to all this trouble on a whim. I needed to make sure it wasn't a Thalmor trap. I am not your enemy. I already gave you the horn. I'm actually trying to help you. I just need you to I hear me out. Like I said in my note, That's I've so heard that you might be dragonborn. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Well, someone like you, for a very long time. If you really are dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. If you don't trust me, you were a fool to walk in here in the first place. I knew the Greybeards would send you there if they thought you were dragonborn. They're nothing if not predictable. When you showed up here, I knew you were the one the Greybeards sent and not some Thalmor plant. We remember what most don't, that the dragonborn is the ultimate dragon slayer. You're the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Can you do it? Can you devour a dragon's soul? Good, and you'll have a chance to prove it to me soon enough. We remember what most don't, that the Dragonborn is the ultimate dragon slayer. You're the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Yes, we're very old enemies. And if my suspicions are correct, they might have something to do with the dragons returning. But that isn't important right now. What is important is that you might be Dragonborn. Dragons aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead, killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, and I need you to help me stop it. <laughs> A few years ago, I said almost the same thing to a colleague of mine. Well, it turned out he was right and I was wrong. I know they are. I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty. And I figured out where the next one will come back to life. We're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. You should know. You got the map for me. The Dragonstone you got for Faringar, remember? So you were paying attention. I arranged to have Faringar recover the Dragonstone for me. It's what I do. I make things happen from behind the scenes. After all, here you are. Yes, a map of ancient dragon burial sites. I've looked at which ones are now empty. The pattern is pretty clear. It seems to be spreading from the southeast, starting in the Geralds near Riften. The one near Kynesgrove is next if the pattern holds. Pines Grove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. I can't wait around for you to make up your mind. I'll meet you at Kynes Grove. Don't waste time getting there. That's better. Let's get on the road to Kynesville. Oh no! By the gods! 
Kynes Grove is this way. We can travel together or split up and meet there. Your choice. Retrieved the horn of Jorgen Wimko. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Three words together, this shout is much more powerful. Use it wisely. Master Wolfgar will now give you his knowledge of our dark. You have completed your training, Dragonborn. We would speak to you. Stand between us and prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards, but you are ready. Vingra Crossis Aran Strundu Osni Balan Kro Ran Now. of the Greybeards and passed through unscathed. High Hrothgar is open to you.
I don't want some snuffy elf telling me what gods I can and can't worship. If you know any true sons and daughters of the sky, tell them to get You don't want to go up there. A dragon. It's attacking. Well, I don't know. Not yet. It flew over the town and landed on the old dragon mound. I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. to find out what's happening up there.
Malakunir. Zeal grow Dova Ulsa. Slend. Whatever you want to know, nothing held back. I'm one of the last members of the Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were Dragon Slayers, and we served the Dragonborn, the greatest Dragon Slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. We need to stop them. Not a damn thing. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. Really? 
Where? Interesting. Same dragon. Damn it. We're blundering around in the dark here. We need to figure out who's behind it all. Exactly. Nobody even remembers our name these days. We used to be known across Tamriel as the protectors of the Septim Emperors. Those days are long gone, though. For the last 200 years, we've been searching for the next Dragonborn to guide and guard, as we are sworn to do. But we never found one, until now. The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. The Thalmor are our best leads. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. The faction that rules the Ald Mary Dominion, the ones who almost destroyed the Empire during the Great War 30 years back. There's no worse enemy to humankind in Tamriel. The Empire barely survived the last war. The Thalmor don't intend to lose the next one. Nothing solid yet. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere, indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? Before the Great War, the Blades helped the Empire against the Thalmor. Our Grand Master saw them as the greatest threat to Tamriel. At the time, that was true. Maybe it still is. So we fought them in the shadows, all across Tamriel. We thought we were more than a match for them. We were wrong. If we could get into the Thalmor Embassy, it's the center of their operations in Skyrim. Problem is, that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. They could teach me a few things about paranoia. Hmm, I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse.